Bird brains. Bird brains. Bird brains. Hello everyone, thank you for joining us again for another episode of Bird Brain. This is part two of a two-part series, so um, we're going to be discussing bird orders like we did in the first video. If you're looking for things that are prior to galliforms, then you need to check out the first part of this video, which will be on the YouTube channel somewhere. So we're going to kick off straight away and go into galliforms. The last one that we looked at was galliforms, they sound very similar the birds themselves are very different. There's only five species in this whole group and they contain divers or loons and it depends what part of the world you come from as to what you call them. Loons are from North America as the um, Americans will call them and divers are what we use in Europe and Asia and so as I say there's only five in this category and they are the common loon the red-throated loon or the red-throated diver, the arctic loon or the black-throated diver, the yellow-billed loon or the white-throated diver, and the pacific loon or the pacific diver. And these are webbed feet diving birds, they propel themselves through the water with their webbed feet and they usually have painted bills as well. There isn't so much a specific way to remember these, only if you can remember galliforms, all you have to do is remember it's the other one. Next we move on to gruiforms, and this is all the kind of birds that are crane-like. And so this order contains, surprisingly, uh, cranes, bustards, uh, coots, rails. And they live and they feed near water and often browns, greys, blacks in colour, very neutral kind of colour scheme. Um, often with some kind of uniform marking, some kind of stripes. Okay, we're going to move away from gruiforms now. We're moving away from the Gs and we're going to go straight to P. There's nothing in between and this brings us on to passeriforms. And these are things which we call perching birds. That's because their foot anatomy has the three toes at the front and then one toe at the back and this is used to help perch, to help steady themselves. And there's around 5,800 different species or thereabouts in this order. And because it is so large, this has been split up into two different suborders. The first sub of these suborders is called passeri and this is what we class as our songbirds. So this is things like um, wrens, tits, uh, blackbirds, robins, um, martins, mockingbirds, tree climbers, tree creepers, sorry I should say, starlings, swallows. This also includes what we call corvids as well, corvids Latin for raven, so this is things like crows, like magpies, jackdaws, rooks, ravens. And so yeah, that's all passery, they're all this suborder of passeriforms and the second suborder is called tyranny and this is easy to remember with tyrannosaurus maybe you'll have to find a link somewhere there in between um, and these these are mostly south american and they're very similar they still have the same hand hand they still have the same um, foot anatomy um, but they are classed in a different suborder because of their syrinx muscle, which is the way that they produce sound. And this order includes uh, wood creepers, ant birds, gnat birds, and broadbills. Uh, yeah, that's all of passeriforms. It's a huge, huge order. The next one of the peas is pelicaniforms, and just like cuculiforms, there is a clue in the title here, pelicaniforms. So this is uh, pelicans. These are usually seabirds and they can often come in blacks, in whites, in browns, in greys. And they'll have the bare skin pouch that helps to hold slippery fish. They also have webbed feet with four toes. And so this includes pelicans, cormorants, gannets and frigate birds. It also includes tropic birds, although they don't have the pouch. We have another P, and this is pickerforms, and this is things like woodpeckers, toucans, and th those kind of relatives. And these are largely arboreal birds. This means that they live in trees for most of their life. 
and although they're really different to look at they all have one thing in common and this is the zygodactylus feet anatomy where it is um, two and two two at the front two at the back to help them perch and it also helps with climbing up branches which may be vertical or at funny angles um, anyone who may have reptiles may keep reptiles you'll notice that chameleons have the same sort of um, thing going on with their feet as well this can also be classed as yoke toed or um, cross cross kind of feet like yeah like X's essentially remembering it um, picky picky forms picky picky like woodpeckers will pick away at bark ch at the bark of the um, of the trunk of the tree to find the insects underneath picking picky forms we have another P now and this is podicipidy forms podicipidy forms um, I remember this as body slippery it's a bit gross and this is um, grebes there's 22 different species they're all grebes and this is stocky uh, narrow body diving birds with long bills with short wings um, and yeah just essentially water birds they eat fish and mollusks mainly podicipity forms body slippery forms Again, another P. I think all the rest of the orders that we're going to cover now are all P's. And this is Procellary forms. Uh, whoa, Procellary. The clues in the name, they all eat celery. That's not true. That is a lie. Ignore me. I'm just winding you up. Um, this is a order that has only four families. And it also has the largest range in sizes of these families. Uh, which isn't difficult when you think that some of the others have got thousands and thousands of families. But... Um, this includes at the largest the albatross with a 12 foot wingspan um, going all the way down to the petrel which has a 12.5 inch wingspan. These guys can also be referred to as tuber nares and um, the nares is your nostrils and tubes, are, well tubes, so their nostrils almost sit on top of the beak like two tubes along the side of it rather than most birds which will have just the two holes. So yeah, procellary forms. Procellary. We're now on to Pesitacy forms and this does have a really odd spelling, hopefully I'll be able to get it up here for you. Um, and this is around 350 different species in this category. If I describe the bird to you, you'll probably be able to guess what it is straight away. They're normally really brightly coloured. They often have a hooked um, top mandible which will rest over the top of the bottom one so mandibles the, uh, the beaks beaks beak they also have the digosactyl toes as well do you remember i was saying about egg yoked not egg yolk, yoked toes with the two and the two any ideas it's quite obvious this is essentially parrots parrot species things like cockatiels things like cockatoos things like parakeets lorikeets uh, macaws or parrots and to remember this pisitacy forms I imagine uh, just the sentence in your head please sit for me forms please sit for me pisitacy right this is the last order of um, all of the bird orders and this is petroclid you save the hardest one um, for last alphabetically this is petroclidiforms is that right? Yeah, petroclidiforms. Yeah, that's right, petroclidiforms. <laughs> also classed as sand grouse. And these guys are often found in open lands, so in deserts, in like countrysides. And they are ground dwelling, so they spend m their whole lives on the ground. They're quite sturdy bodies, they're quite rounded, and they're also mostly browns and greys, so they blend in with their environment, so this is, works as some kind of camouflage. And like pigeons, they're able to, like pigeons and doves, they can use the peristalsis, where they're able to suck up water through their beaks, um, rather than use the gravity to take the water down. So yeah, uh, pteroclidiforms. Pteroclidiforms? Pteroclidiform. No, pteroclidiforms. 
Terry Clitiformis. It's up there. And that is it. That is all of the bird orders, all 28 of them. Thank you for your patience for sitting and listening to me. And um, please feel free to check out any other videos. I will try and update this channel as often as I can with anything bird related. I want to do another video next about the anatomy of the wing. So if you are a bit of a sadist and like to torture yourself, uh, please join, join me for that one. It should be white knuckle wrenching exciting it's going to be exciting see you soon bye